Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to build the 1500 watt toy inverter with just a few components. The project is built around the SD3525 PWMIC, which is popular in many suitable power supplies. You can optionally use the TL494, but the circuit will differ a little bit. To power the circuit, you'll need a stable 12 volts power supply, which can deliver at least 10 amperes. This, however, depends on the output power that you want. The IC is configured to oscillate at about 20 kHz by the resistor R4 in the capacitor 2. If the values are 10 nanofarads and 3.3 kilo ohms, the output frequency is about 21 kHz. If you change the capacitor C2 to 4.7 nanofarads, they should give you an output frequency of about 45 kHz, which is even much better. The rest of the circuit will remain the same. You will need to disable the internal amplifier by pulling down its pin 1 and 2 to ground via 10 kilo ohms resistor session. The capacitor C8 across ground and the soft start pin 8 ensures that during startup, the output PWM will increase slowly from 0 up to about 41% as set by the duty cycle setting resistor R3. This sets the duty cycle to a maximum of 82%, that is 41% for both the outputs output A and B at pin 11 and 14 respectively as shown. The synchronous pin and the oscillator output can remain unconnected because they are not needed in this case. You need to connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor across the compensation pin 9 and ground as shown, and you must pull down the shutdown pin 10 to ground via a 10 kilo ohms resistor as shown. This will enable the IC and it will start oscillating. You can optionally use a switch inserted with the resistor at 6 as a simple on off switch. When pin 10 is pulled to ground, the IC will operate, and when it's pulled up to 5 volts, the IC will stop. The outputs are taken at pin 11 and 14 as mentioned. Pin 12 is ground and you need to connect pin 13 and 15 to VCC as shown, which is 12 volts. The reference pin 16 generates 5 volts, and this you can use as a voltage reference in case you want precise regulation of the output voltage. But for now, just connect this pin to pin 2 through a 10 kilo ohms resistor as shown. This will ensure that the voltage at pin 2 will be 2.5 volts and that at pin 1 will be 0 volts, and so the output duty cycle will always be enabled. When the IC is in oscillation, let's say in the first case the output at pin 11 is high, the MOSFET Q6 will conduct, but Q5 will be off because Q3 will be on and so it will pull its gate to ground, but Q1 will be off as well. In the other case, Q2 will be on and Q4 will be off. So, 12 volts will be able to get to the gate of the MOSFET Q6 and cause it to turn on. This will power the lower winding of the power transformer and current to now flow from the 12 volts through the lower primary winding, through the MOSFET Q6 and to ground. When the output at pin 11 goes low and that at pin 14 goes high, MOSFET Q6 turns off as shown, but the MOSFET Q5 will conduct as shown. Q3 will be off but Q1 will be on, so 12 volts will be supplied to the gate of the MOSFET Q5 and cause it to turn on. This supplies power to the upper primary winding and current will flow from VCC through the upper primary winding through the MOSFET into ground, then the cycle repeats over and over again. For the transformer, you need to use a ferrite power transformer. These are the black small transformers usually found in modern switch mode power supplies, such as ATX computer power supplies or any just other switch mode power supply. Ensure that the core size is large enough to handle the power that you want. For 1500 watts, I recommend you use one in the trees, an area of 2 cm square. The primary turns are 505 and the secondary turns are 110. This gives you a good ratio of about 1 is to 21 and you should have no problem getting anywhere from 200 to 250 volts AC on the secondary side with a power supply of 10 to 15 volts. To get 1500 watts, I recommend you parallel at least 4 of this IRF that 205 for MOSFETs because with just single MOSFET, the maximum power you can get is about 600 watts, which is also quite sufficient for many projects and for emergency power supply. The reason I have used the complementary pairs B139 and 140 is to boost the output current from the IC to power the MOSFETs, because at a high frequency, the IC may not supply sufficient current to completely turn off and MOSFETs fast enough. So this is a simple current boosting network, which will follow the outputs at the IC in 11 and 14 respect free. With that being said, this marks the end of my tutorial and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to give it a like, comment, 
share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to check out some of my other videos. Have a nice time, and I'll see you next time.